sure many of you share the same sentiments of concern. Uh, you know, what's happening across Victoria at the moment with the spike in cases of coronavirus. But what I found equally troubling was the reports that the panic buying has come back yet again. And it's deeply, deeply disappointing. I mean, only a few short months ago, when coronavirus really took hold here in Australia, where people were uncertain, people were unsure, and there was anxiety, and of course, there was fear that it caused this major panic, people stockpiling and causing a complete disruption to the system, causing a lot of damage to those who are vulnerable, to those who are elderly, who couldn't get supplies. And only a few short months later, that's all it took for this to start happening again. As I said, deeply disappointing and troubling. But there's a very interesting and fascinating insight, I think, from our parasha this week, the parasha of Korach, that we read here outside of Israel. Now, Korach challenges the leadership of Moshe. He challenges Moses, the most humble of all people. And one has to wonder, what was Korach thinking? Who was he? What was his personality like? There are many commentators who address what Korach was thinking and some look at it in a positive light and so on. But there's a very basic and simple fact that you look at the, just one word before we introduce to Korach, and it's the word Vayikach Korach, the opening words of our parasha. And Korach took. In life, you have givers and you have takers. The takers are those people who are always thinking about what's in it for me. I, I, I. They're self-centered. It's selfish. How do I get benefit? What's, what's, it, what's the best situation that involves me and how I can benefit from that situation? And then you have, on the other side of things, you have people who are givers. People are always thinking about the other person. How do I make the other person's life better? How do I give the other person something that they need? Not considering themselves. Not thinking about what's, what's in it for me, but what's in it for the other person. When you live a life of a Vayikach Korach, when you live a life where it's all about I, 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 it's all about that selfishness, how do I benefit, how do I gain, it could lead to a disaster. It could lead to the ground opening up and swallowing everybody alive. It could cause mass hysteria and problems. Exactly what happened a few months ago. I'm not saying that everybody who stockpiled was a taker. I'm not saying that everybody was guilty. Of course, as I said, there were people who were anxious. But there were also many people who just thought about one equation that was, what do I need? I'm going to go to the supermarket and get what I need. They weren't thinking for one second about somebody else. And had we only just taken a minute, each of us who did that, and said, hold on a minute, maybe I don't need 20 cartons of toilet paper. Then it would have caused a lot of calmness. And I think a lot of the anxiety and stress and fear was not only about the virus itself, it was literally about what am I going to lose out in the world around me. So let's not make that same mistake again. Let's think about Vayikach Korach, each and every one of us needs to ask ourselves that very question. When we are making a decision, ask yourself, am I doing this because it's all about me and it's all about being selfish? I'm not saying we don't have to look after ourselves. Of course, everybody needs to take care of themselves. But think beyond it and say, hold on, are these actions taking into consideration what ramification they may have for another human being? And I hope Victorians, I hope Australians will think about this. I hope we will act better, become more humane, become more considerate, become more kind. And there's a lot of stress going around the community and people pointing fingers and blaming. There's a virus, you know, this is a difficult time. Don't point fingers, think about how can I assist and help another human being. And certainly if we have that attitude, I have no doubt that the ground will remain calm and all of us can hopefully support each other to get through these uncertain times and hopefully come out stronger, more kind, more generous, more wise as we get through the other side. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom, hopefully a beautiful and healthy weekend ahead.